excited about this live. I'm not even sure why. I'm just uh, being obedient to what God told me to do. I was in the middle of writing a word from this uh, a powerful encounter I had just the other day, about a week ago. And as I was writing the word, it just didn't seem to come together. And I was like, God, well, this isn't normal for me. What's going on? And he said to me, no, I, I want you to do something completely different. But then he didn't tell me what that was. Um, and then I woke up at 3.30 on Monday night. And then I woke up again at 3.30 a.m. this morning. And the Lord said to me, no, I want you, I want you to get on the keys. And I want you to release this prophetically from my throne room. And I just felt the weightiness of it, that He was telling me, no, this, this is a change of seasons. And with a change of seasons comes a new song. And I want you to call forth the song that's inside of every single believer. I want you to call forth that sound and that song. So if you join me today, I'm not even sure what Holy Spirit wants to do. I've written down some things that He's shown me, that He's spoken to me, that I'm going to decree and speak over. This is a like a prophetic release from the throne room. But I believe this is a commissioning. This is a commissioning of a generation that will come to the throne room. This is a commissioning of, for those to come up. This is a commissioning for those to leave things behind. This is going to be a moment of breakthrough for many people who've been struggling or not knowing how to leave things behind. This is, this is going to be a powerful for moments and strap yourselves in. Holy Spirit, we welcome you today. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome your voice. We welcome your voice, God. We welcome your voice, God. We welcome your voice, God. Come and speak, come and speak, Holy Spirit. soak to this feel free I just know the Holy Spirit is going to refresh a lot of people you know there are, there are seasons you go through that you feel like you carry and that you attract and that you add so much more baggage to your back than you ever thought possible and suddenly in a moment the Lord just releases and lifts it off your shoulders I believe there is just deliverance there is there is a lightness that the Holy Spirit wants to release today even as you're listening to this something fresh he's mantling you with and he's taking every burden off your back so this might be long today I'm not even sure what Holy Spirit wants to do but this isn't just a word this is this is a commissioning moment this is a moment I, I, I don't want to just pass by this is a holy moment I felt the Lord say so I, I woke up last week in the middle of the night to hearing the Lord just whisper to me and he said Nate come up higher come up higher come up here I said Lord where do you want me to come here I am and I felt like Samuel I just felt like Samuel sitting in the in the temple I just felt like I was just sitting there waiting on his voice and he's like Nate come up here And I just sat there in the dark and just waiting and just sitting in His presence. And then He said to me, where are those who live from my throne room? Where are those who will live from my throne room? When you go through seasons where circumstances are screaming at you and everything around you wants your attention and the world is going crazy and there's distractions at every turn in the middle of that the Lord is saying who will be the ones that will ascend the mountain who will be the ones who will live from Mount Zion in the middle of noise in the middle of chaos in the middle of the storm in the middle of the fight in the middle of a wilderness that does not seem to end who will be the ones who will continue to ascend who will be the ones who will hunger and crave after my voice more than anything more than any desire more than the next breath who will be those ones who will be those ones that carry my fire who will be my ones that want to hear my voice more than they even want to be heard 
Who will be the ones that want to minister unto me more than they need to be validated and approved? Who will be those ones who will come and minister unto the Lord? For I'm raising up a faithful priest, says the Lord. And it's a generation that are laid down in my glory. It's a, it's a generation who are not satisfied with sitting in the outer courts, but they want to live from the throne room. It's not a generation that, that say, I'm a Christian. It's not a generation who say, I know the name of Jesus, but don't know the man, don't know the king, don't know the one who's longing and in pursuit of their hearts. And the Lord says, this is a changing season because I am igniting the hearts and I'm calling them just like Samuel, my throne room dwellers. And they're gonna come and they're gonna fill my throne room with a fragrance of worship and praise that will spill into the earth, that will spill into the earth. And it's going to ignite, it's going to ignite even the things that have been spoken and decreed over regions and cities and nations. I feel the Lord saying that there's a toppling over, there's a there's there's that bowl that's beginning to pour as these people come and they ascend. The Lord says, as they come and ascend, there's the there's the pouring out of my bowl, there's the pouring out of my glory that's going to fill the earth. Where are those who will be more conscious of the heavenly realities above than what is around them? Who are those? God's calling you up higher today. Can you guys hear this okay, by the way? It's a new audio setup for me, so. I'm being obedient to what God told me to do. I'm being obedient. make the kingdom palatable? When did we make it governed by natural means? We live from a higher reality and God's calling us to live from that place. Even today there is going to be an impartation, a commissioning from the throne room, a commissioning from the throne room to the throne room. So God began to speak to me that night from Colossians 3. It says this, Christ's resurrection is your resurrection too. This is why we are to yearn for all that is above. For that's where Christ sits enthroned at the place of all power, honour and authority. Yes, feast on all the treasures, treasures of the heavenly realm and fill your thoughts with heavenly realities and not with the distractions of the natural realm. Your crucifixion with Christ has severed the tide of this life. And now your true life is hidden away in God, in Christ, as Christ Himself is seen for who He really is and and who you really are will also be revealed. For now you're one with Him in His glory. See, you've been living in the valley long enough. That's been such an assignment of the enemy. You've been living there far too long. You've been living in the valley long enough. You've been living there for far too long. Your family's been camping out in the bottom of that valley for far too long, but the Lord says, I'm doing a new thing and I'm redeeming your family. Your family's about to ascend. Your legacy's about to begin in my glory, says the Lord. Your financial situation's about to change as you ascend into my glory because you'll see things differently. Those poverty mindsets will break off you. Those hereditary diseases that keep trying to plague you and your children be broken off your life because I've called you higher. I've called you to come up to a higher place. I break every limitation off you right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that's trying to hold you back into a past season, into a past reality of your personhood, the Lord says you're a child of God gives you access it gives you access to a higher reality and this has to be one of the verses for the season because as I begin reading it that night 
I just broke down because I just felt the Lord yearning like this longing. It was a longing of the Lord for us to step up. And it says this in Revelations 4. Then suddenly, after I wrote down these messages, I saw a heavenly portal open up before me. And the same trumpet voice I heard speak with me at the beginning broke the silence and said, Ascend into this realm. I want to reveal to you what must happen after this. Instantly, I was taken in the spirit realm and behold, I saw a heavenly throne set in place and someone seated upon it. I just want to break that down for you for a moment. The door uh, spoken about in the scripture is a portal. It's an entrance. You you speak about, it, it speaks about Psalms 24 that we're called to be gates and doors. Swing wide, you heavenly gates. You age abiding doors and let the King of glory come in. It's speaking about us. It's speaking about us as gateways from heaven to earth. And then there was a trumpet sound, a war trumpet, a declaration of victory, a trumpet blast. And it said, come up here, ascend, rise, spring up, climb up, step out of where you are. It's time to move on. And it's time to move into your destiny. Because I want to show you, I want to point out to you, I want to exhibit to you, teach you, demonstrate to you and make known and manifest what is to come, what is to happen, what I'm going to establish, that that I've ordered to come into being, that which needs to emerge. It's transitioning you from one point, one realm, one condition to another realm, to a higher realm. It's your metamorphosis. See, God's not just taking you to another realm. He's trans. He's bringing you into a different state of being, different way of thinking, different way of singing. The Lord says that in this place, you will receive my heavenly scrolls. You receive the revelation that you've needed to move forward. The actual word here is, in Greek is genomai. It means to come into being. It's a manifestation And it implies motion, movement, and growth. And this has been a season of exponential growth. This has been a season of exponential movement, but it's also been a season of exponential discomfort because the Lord is breaking ties to the past and those things that have held you back. And He's saying, stop looking back. Stop looking back. I want you to come up higher. Come up here, says the Lord. Come up here, says the Lord. Come up here, says the Lord. Come up to a different place. Come up to a different state. Don't stay where you've been. Come up, come up, come up. And what's the key? The next part of Revelation 4 says, speaks about the 24 elders and the angels gathering around the throne of God. We need to dwell around the throne. And the Lord God is looking for those who will come. altar in their homes who will respond to my voice who will turn off their phones so that they can listen to the sound of my voice calling them is an hour of life changing and history altering encounters in 2006 I was so hungry for the Lord I was newly married and I just I just knew I need to do something I was desperate there was a desperation on the inside of me said God I can't move forward without your presence like Moses said God I can't I can't move forward without your presence I need your glory God I need it I need it more than my next breath. I need it. I don't know what it is, God. I begin to lay down in my living room and just worship Him like this. And as I did, His presence, His glory just begin to fall and fill my room. And I begin to hear His voice. And I begin to be marked in that place. I felt known by God. In the last week, the Lord's been reminding me again of the things He spoke to me in that place. And He's saying, Nate, I'm calling a generation 
to their knees. I'm calling a generation to leave everything behind for those moments in my glory because they don't realise what will come from those moments. They don't realise what will come from those moments. They're looking for the next next breakthrough. They're looking for the next thing that's going to make them feel good. They're looking for the next spiritual high, but they don't know that it is the place of my presence that marks them for a lifestyle of being loved, being known, being adored, that place that they continually know how to live, not just from my glory, but they'll live as one with me in my glory. So Lord, we just say yes to this season of encounters. Because God's commissioning us even right now. You come on this broadcast, you don't even realise what you're signing up for. Because Holy Spirit's beginning to mark you. He's beginning to mark you. He's beginning to mark you. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel in the days to come a fire burning in your spirit because it's not my words that will dig deep into you. It's the presence of God. You're like, I need to live for something more than what I've been living for. I've been living for something that is far less than what God has called me to live from. God's just going to put a bad taste in your mouth for anything that is less than His best. Those situations that you've been just allowing the enemy to rob you in. Those relationships that aren't God's best. God's like, I'm freeing you from those things, but you're going to need to want to get free from them. I'm putting such a hunger in you, such a thirst in you for my glory that everything else will wane in, com- in, in comparison to it. So Lord, release a fresh hunger today. Release a fresh hunger today in Jesus' mighty name. Purpose is being awoken even right now. Purpose is being awoken even right now. There's conception taking place in the Spirit even right now. Holy Spirit, I thank You. Conception is taking place right now. Uramando she promondo sho coromo nono mandala. Prendo lo mesito se pra cala la mando. Se pra nino mono so mbonoko. La la manda la mandito se pra kishto mansa. Pro de bi se pra nan manda la mando la baba pra manda la rasho. The Lord said to me, This is just a few of the things I felt the Lord say would happen as a result of the throne room dwellers arising. This is a few, just a few of the things the Lord began to speak to me about that are going to be the markers of this next season of a generation rising who know God, who lay everything down for His glory. The first thing He said to me was prophets are taking office. And I saw the prophetic offices of governmental authority being taken up. And the Lord, the Lord reminded me of an encounter that I had with Him a few years ago before Kim Clement passed away, actually. It was February of 2016. And I was in worship and the Lord said to me, I felt this grief on His heart. And He said, where are the Kim Clements of the earth? Where are the Kim Clements of the earth? And I felt just that, just the grief on his heart that not many had taken up the prophetic office the way that Kim Clement had, with full abandon, with full worship, like he had the heart of a David, he had the heart of David, and he knew how to blast the prophetic trumpet deep inside him. It was an all or nothing thing for him. And the Lord said, Where are the Kim Clements of the earth? Because you can't be someone in that governmental authority and an office of the prophet, but still operate under the fear of man. You can't. You can't do both. And the Lord is doing something right now in the prophetic. People have been calling it, I'm purifying the prophetic, but it's so much more deeper than that. It's so much more deeper than that. It's a deep marking and a burning for prophets to step into office at all costs. It's a laying down, it's a surrender, it's a commissioning, it's a commissioning of fire of the prophets. God says, will you give, Will you speak what I give you? Will you say what I tell you to say? Will you not edit what I give you? Will you step into the weightiness of the calling upon your life? 
So I just say, prophets arise. There are many out there that are simply prophetic encouragement, encouragers, but they're actually mantled as prophets. And God's saying, step into the weight of your jacket. Step into the weight of your mantle. Step into your office. Step out of that place where you're just, on the, you're just sitting on the fence waiting and hoping that someone's going to validate you. It's never going to come. You're going to need to dig a little deeper. You're going to have to step. You're going to have to let the fathers embrace permission you and commission you because it's not going to happen by man. If you're waiting for that moment, it's not going to come. Prophets, it's time. We're stepping out of the out of the schoolyard. We're stepping out of the schoolyard. We're stepping out of the schoolyard and into the deep rivers again. Prophets, we're not just going to be these mouthpieces speaking and uttering the Word of the Lord from the corners of the earth. We're going to be people that activate. They're going to be people that are activists in the Spirit, that we raise up, that we raise up a generation. It's the, it's the season of the equippers arising. It's the season of the equippers, the mothers and fathers arising. And I'm giving them new voice and new unction. And you will operate from your office, not from the fear of man. Not trying to say what is acceptable or living by the cultural norms or politically correct terms and language and verbiage. No, you will speak forth from the Spirit. You will speak forth from the throne. What I give you, says the Lord. Because culture needs to be shifted and your voice carries power. Your voice carries power, says the Lord. The trumpet blast needs to be sounded. Gates and doors need to be opened. There's governmental insight and strategy that's going to come. You're going to step into new realms. God's going to open your eyes and you're going to see prophetic worshipers arise. Prophetic worshipers arise. It's time to demonstrate what it is to rule from heaven, says the Lord. And then God began to speak to me about something that He's been speaking to my spirit for years now. And there's many on here hearing this. Let this be your commissioning in this moment. And He said that emerging ones are rising from the wilderness, Nate. And that's why it's so integral for the, prophet, for the prophets to step into their office. Because He's waking up, He's stirring up those that have dropped their mantle, the mothers and fathers. Calling you out of the wilderness. Can you hear my voice? Father saying, I'm calling you out of the wilderness. You're gonna rise up with a new song, with a new sound. I'm calling you out, I'm calling you out of the wilderness. I'm calling you home, I'm calling. And the Lord said that I'm calling upon those who've dropped their fiery coals and they will speak again. They will speak again, says the Lord. They carry a key that will unlock regions and cities and nations. These new emerging voices, it's the sound, it's the one crying from the wilderness. It's the one crying from the wilderness. It's the ones, it's the spirit of Elijah in our day. Restore the altar, they will say. It's restore the altar, they will say. I'm turning hearts of fathers to sons and sons to fathers. I'm restoring the family of God. And there are many that have been under the assignment of many of, of spirits that have caused to silence them. Like it says in Revelation 4, He broke the silence. That's a word over you today. But the Lord spoke to me in the dark that night and He said, Nate, the eunuchs are being freed. Voices that have been shut up are rising up. 
And if you're on here right now, you don't even know, but the Lord says there has been many that have been eunuchs. You know, Jezebel had eunuchs. It's the ones that couldn't conceive or bring forth or produce. And it's like you're trying to speak, but you feel silenced. It's like you're trying to release from your spirit, but it's like nothing's coming forth. The Lord says, in this hour, in this hour, I'm healing. I'm bringing restoration those who have been silenced in the spirit. Those who could not produce or bring forth. God says, you will no longer be called eunuchs. God says, I'm raising up a new generation of prophets. You will not live under the assignment of that Jezebel spirit. You will not live dictated by the influence of the, that spirit of religion that wants to tame or the political spirit that wants everything perfect or the ducks in a row knows so that the Lord says I am calling those who will not operate from the fear of man but will simply raise up their voice will simply raise up their trumpet voice and the Lord says as you raise up your new sound there'll be healing that will come there'll be healing that will come to you because I'm restoring you and I'm restoring a generation who are orphaned identityless the Lord says I'm raising up up a generation, raising up a healthy generation who know me. So as you leave the wilderness, you're bringing so many others with you, says the Lord. You don't even know. And there is a new language coming. There's a new language of the Spirit the Lord's been speaking about, a new language that's going to unlock new dimensions of God's vocabulary and heart that we haven't heard or even understood. These are new expressions on the Lord's heart that are about to manifest through sons and daughters. You know, the Tower of Babel was built to access the heavens without intimacy. It was an illegitimate access, so it was denied. It created confusion, disunity, Babel actually means a confused noise made by a number of voices. But the Lord spoke to me and He said, it's time for the one sound. This is time for the sound of unity. See, there's been many streams, but there's been no rivers. And it's time for the rivers. It's time for the rivers. No more Babel, says the Lord, but there'll be the utterance of the Spirit of God that will burst forth from the inside of you. Get ready for the Lord to speak to you in fresh new ways. Many are about to have dreams and visions like they've never known before. Many are about to step into different areas of revelation and, and the Lord speaking and declaring things to them and showing them things that they've never heard anywhere before. Get ready, says the Lord. Get out your pen. Get out your pen, says the Lord. Bring forth what I show you to come. Bring forth. Write down. Declare it. Speak it. Because we're in a season of a fresh infilling of God where new rivers are flowing. New rivers are flowing. In Revelation 22, it speaks about the river that came out of the city of God. In Ezekiel 47, 12, it says this, Fruit trees of all kinds will grow on both banks of the river and the leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fa fail. Every month they'll bear fruit because the water from the sanctuary flows to them and their fruit will serve for food and the leaves for healing. As God begins to fill you afresh, as the Holy Spirit begins to baptize you afresh, and fresh livers of living water are gonna burst out of the inside of you that bring healing to your life and to so many others. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said to the woman at the well in John 4:13. If you drink from Jacob's well, the old source, you'll be thirsty again. But if anyone drinks from the living water I give them, they'll never thirst again and they'll be forever satisfied. For when you drink the water I give you, it becomes a gushing fountain of the Holy Spirit springing up and flooding you with endless life. Wow. I feel of the Lord saying that many have been drinking from the old well drinking from the old well, but now's the time for a fresh infilling of my spirit as you ascend. As you come into my throne room, I'm going to fill you up. You've been feeling dry. You've been feeling dry. You've been feeling dry. But the Lord says, now it's time for a flood of my spirit and you're gonna flood forth. You're going to gush forth my rivers from the inside of you. In John 7, 38, it says, whoever believes in me, rivers of living water will flow within them. 
rivers flow. I just command rivers to flow even right now. Rivers that have been stopped up. If you've never felt your river flow in a long time, it's been a long time since you've drunk from the Spirit of God. It's been a long time since you've, you've dipped your barrel in the well and said, God, fill me to overflowing. I've been dry. I've been thirsty. I've been in a desert. I've been in a wilderness spiritually. Just say, God, baptize me afresh. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. There's a fresh and feeling of my spirit upon hearts. There's a fresh and feeling of my spirit, says the Lord. I heard the Lord begin to say from Isaiah 64 1 it's like a he's wanting me to speak it out so I did God oh you would rend the heavens and you would come down that the mountains would tremble before you and the Lord said, there's a fresh cry coming from my people. Oh God, rend the heavens. When did revival become a dirty word? When did it become a dirty word? Because God's saying, I'm putting it upon the hearts of my people again. God, we need revival. We need revival. A generation that are marked with revival, they are revival. We need revival. We need the revealing of sons and daughters in the earth. And as I was sitting in that place, I began to see regions around the earth that were ripe for revival. And all they were needing was someone just to tap it and say, God, this place, this place, God, this place, I speak to the destiny. I speak over what was spoken over this region. Come forth, God, rend the heavens. Come down, God, let your fire touch and land down upon this place. And as he did, suddenly it began to erupt in culture and everything began to shift and change in heaven, begin to come and fall down in that place. It's time for regional breakouts of God's glory and outpouring. God is reviving revival starters who lost their spark. God, Lord, saying, I'm, re I'm restoring and resurrecting what you dropped because God gave you, God gave you a command. He gave you a commissioning to be a revival starter, but you dropped it, but you dropped it. You dropped it, circumstances came against you and you dropped it. And the Lord's saying, I'm even right now putting a fresh fire upon those who are called to be the catalyst of revival in regions and nations. Who will call forth my spirit? Who will call forth the things that have been spoken? Who will come into agreement with what I'm speaking over cities and regions and nations? Revival is ripe in the earth. Revival is ripe in the earth. Revival is ripe in the earth. Who will see? who will see and who will call forth and who will contend and who will steward regions for revival. The Lord say, I'm doing a new thing. I'm putting it upon the hearts of my people again. And it's an hour for miracles, signs and wonders. When I was sitting there in that place and I was like taken up in the spirit I saw all around me, it was like there was these boxes and there were all these different items in the Spirit. And I said, Lord, what is this? And He said, it's the backlog of miracle signs and wonders that my people haven't longed or wanted anymore. Whoa. I remember laying there in 2006 on my floor in my living room. There was such a hunger in me for signs, wonders and miracles that they were breaking out around me. And I felt the Lord even putting a hunger in me again. He said, Nate, when did miracle signs, wonders stop? When did they become less frequent? The Lord said that miracles are gonna become commonplace again. And he said, don't, don't deny my power. Don't deny my power. Don't deny my power. We've gotten used to just words and fluffy things that make us feel good for a day. It's like Band-Aid Christianity. And God's like, who will be brokers of my power? Who will be brokers of my power? 
who will be those that bring forth the glory, miracles, signs and wonders. For I'm going to move in mysterious ways through mysterious people. There are new miracle ministries of demonstration that are emerging in this hour. Man, people who got put off by fragrances and it raining indoors and a little bit of oil or glory dust, but you have no idea what's coming. You have no idea what's coming. The demonstration of God's glory and just the type of healings that are going to begin to burst forth in the earth. The type of encounters and visitation that's going to come upon even the unsaved in this hour. It's going to wreck your paradigm. It's going to smash through those religious boxes and God's going to bring you up higher. It's going to cause you to believe for greater. It's going to cause you to hope for more than you've been hoping for. Thank you, God, that you're breaking unbelief in this generation, God. You're causing us to rise up and step into our inheritance. And the healing mantles that are being released, the healing mantles that are being released in this hour, healing ministries are being stepping into their glory days, says the Lord. There's a resurgence of the healing ministries that are going to be beyond anything we've seen going to be like back in the 50s and 60s. And there's innovation being released. There are ideas and inventions being released from the secret place, from the throne room. I saw a vacuum in the spirit. It was almost like there was a void. There was a place that people had not dreamt, not dreamt with God. And he's like, will you dream with me? Will you dream with me? Will you dream with me? because there are strategies and ideas I wanna bring forth through you. There are strategies and ideas I wanna bring forth through you. Be my strategist in the earth. Be my strategist in the earth. Not many are accessing heaven's creativity, innovation, but now is the time for it. There are new songs that are gonna be released. that will be the catalyst of fresh outpouring in the earth. Where are the new songs? Where are the new songs? Bring them forth, says the Lord. Bring them forth, says the Lord. There's about to become a move in the area of media. media. I saw media apostles and revivalists that would actually come and build new platforms and systems. And they will be the head and not the tail above only, not beneath. They would rise up to the top of that media mountain and they would declare and they would shout forth the truth from heaven. They would shout it forth and they will not be bound. They will not be bound, says the Lord. I just see almost like red tape in the Spirit being broken. There'll be no bureaucratic op- oppression, opposition, says the Lord, from calling them forth as pure mouthpieces. And they're going to take back ground, says the Lord. This is the hour of the commissioning of His glory. This is the hour of the commissioning of those that will ascend and come up higher. This is a second win for many. Who will partner with heaven, says the Lord. Who will pick up the package. Who will pick up what I'm giving them to release. Who will be faithful and obedient with what I give them. Seek you first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Who will be my recipients and carriers and transporters of my glory, my ideas, my heart to the earth, to a people that need it more than ever before? Who will just take me at my word? Who will drink from me and allow rivers to flow? Who will lay down their need of approval? Who will lay down their marketing campaigns and lay in my glory? who lay down their brands and their needing to build and needing to make and needing to press forward and simply lay in my glory so that I build through them, so that I speak through them. Don't forget the altar. Don't forget the fire. Don't forget the flame. Don't forget my secret place, says the Lord. I don't want you to fizzle out. I want you to last the distance. I want you to be a people that are, that are so much more focused on their reality in heaven, that is citizenship in heaven, that they're able to be effective in the earth. No longer will we say those who are heavenly minded, no, no earthly good. 
Because as we're heavenly minded, we become more effective in the earth. And who will lift up their voices? And you're on here right now. If you made it to the end of this, well done. (laughs) If you made it to the end of this, well done. He's releasing a fresh fire of you right now. A fresh fire. hands up right now if you're just hungry for everything I've been speaking and declaring Lord release your fresh fire Lord release your fresh fire pour it out pour it out commission us in your fire Commission us in your fire. Commission us in your fire. Commission us in your fire. fresh baptism of your fire your Holy Spirit and fire upon them in Jesus mighty name let them burn like they've never burned before God let this be a commissioning of fire to leave behind everything God every single thing every single thing that's been holding them back and holding them down God we just break father off every circumstance and situation that's been preaching and speech speaking and taunting them God that you're calling us forth into a new place in this season God that we're called to live from heaven to earth, God, to live from a higher perspective, Jesus. So God, we say yes. We say yes to the laying down, God. We say yes to the secret place, oh God. We lay down humanistic just thoughts and plans and every single thing that looks good, it looks amazing, but it just doesn't carry your spirit. We want what carries your spirit. The cry of our hearts is God, without your presence, I'm not going anywhere not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere fire right now upon their body who's feeling the fire of God who's feeling their spirit begin to burn up 
He's feeling their spirit just begin to burn up. I just decree in the name of Jesus, you'll never. This is a fresh season of burning for Him. This is a fresh season of burning for Him. The Lord said, I'm going to cause you to burn. The generation, the, the nations will see your great light. They'll see, they'll see the burning. I need to prophesy it one more time. You're leaving the valley and you're coming up. You're leaving the valley and you're coming up. about God's Word being released than what I look like. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for raising up a generation who are more concerned about worshipping you, pleasing you, than their own reputation, God. Than their own reputation, God. Someone check your neck right now. You had a lot of tenseness in your neck. I just saw it just leave. A lot of weight just leave someone's neck. Wow, just try that out right now. Wow. Tenseness. I speak shalom of everybody in the name of Jesus. I just keep hearing that scripture right now. You're going to walk. You're going to run. You're not going to get faint. You're not going to get weary. It's a fresh strength coming over your body. Even your physical body is a fresh strength. This is a season of running. The season of running. This is a season where God's going to cause a fresh strength and a fresh fire to come upon you. When you've been weary, where the valley's made you tired, you're going to ascend and you're going to run into the throne room. There's a fresh strength coming upon your life. Someone's ears are even opening. When I read your word popped, Kathy Pelton, I literally felt like a in my, my ear. Someone's ear, you're gonna, you're gonna hear differently. Yes, the pressure on your neck's gone. Ha <laughs> ha, come on, Jesus. Wow, thanks, Laurie, I received that. You know, I've been, I've been fighting being on the piano for a long time. Too long, right? Wow. More people, the tenseness of their shoulders are gone. I feel like Holy Spirit wants to do still some more ministry time. Can we do that? Sorry if this sounds horrible, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Well, it's new days for you, Suzanne. It's new days, new reputation. It's Jesus' reputation, not your own. Thank you, God. There's new ministries. Amy Rogers, I need to prophesy over you for a minute. The Lord has seen the river that's coming out of the inside of you. You felt like it's a stream, but the Lord says, you might feel like that sometimes it's just trickling, but it's pure. It's pure. It's pure. It's pure. It's pure. It's pure. And He calls you His pure one, Amy. He calls you His pure one. 
one that's been purified in the secret place and in I just feel like that your prayers and your words, a lot of the time, you, it's just a natural thing for you just to, just to kind of talk to the Lord and... Oh, the Lord says that those words you've spoken to Him are about to become... I, I just see books and I just feel like the Lord's saying that He loves the way you talk to Him. He loves the intimacy that you release, that you engage in with Him. The Lord says, I want to, I want to invite other people into, into that because it's precious what you have stewarded with me. It's precious what you've said yes to me. And the Lord says, this is going to be the days of, of a shift. There's a, there's a, a pure, something pure. You're already, you're already releasing powerful prophetic words, but there's something else I'm going to do through you. There's something else in addition that I'm going to do through you, says the Lord. It's not what you expected. It's not going to be in the same way you've done things in the past so Lord we bless Amy we bless the pure sound the pure voice that she carries in Jesus mighty name this is strange but I keep feeling a cramping in my stomach or intestines and I felt the Lord say and it just lifted as I said that but I felt the Lord say that there's people being healed even right now in their stomachs and intestines even right now, there's healing coming to stomachs and intestines in the mighty name of Jesus. There's healing coming, healing coming, healing coming, yeah. If that's you and you just felt that God just like something just broke, you feel like something just snapped, let me know. I just had people healed in their ears, had people healed in their shoulders. So thank you, God, for more healings in Jesus' mighty name. The fire of God is beginning to rest upon you. He's just burning away the old season. He's saying, step into the new thing. Step into the new thing. Even right now, just continue to just continue to say yes to Him. Just continue just to respond. I feel like there are people even jumping on right now. Respond, respond, respond. Respond, respond. I feel like the Lord even just... and leaders around the earth right now. He's doing a new thing in leaders around the earth right now. It just feels like he's igniting the fire upon the altar. He's igniting the fire upon the altar. He's igniting the fire upon the altar. and I've released the word I've had to release but I feel like the Lord's saying linger and stay here so if there's this awkward silence just sit in the presence <laughs> thank you Jesus wow someone's hip it's got healed thank you Jesus someone's hip wow thank you God yeah you feel the stirring in your stomach thank you Jesus complete healing in the mighty name of Jesus I kept, I kept feeling, feeling before actually your spirit man burning. People who actual spirits are burning. And I felt the Lord say it was an activating of your spirit man. For those who have not felt like they've been spiritually <laughs> activated in this season. The Lord's saying that I'm awakening. I'm awakening your spirit man. This is going to be a season that you're going to flow like never before. There's going to be a season you're going to feel your spirit burning. You're to, this is going to be a season that the Spirit of God is going to come upon you in moments. Hey Lord, just 
baptize us afresh in your fire. Baptize us afresh in your fire. Thank you, God. to linger right here. There's an anointing to wait. There's an anointing to receive. There's an anointing just to be. Shalom, shalom. digging a well in the inside of you. He's digging a well in the inside of you even right now. You're going to go down deeper. You're going to go down deeper, says the Lord. So you can gush forth even the more.
this has been a season that you've been feeling like that there's just the, the very depths of you has been scooped out. God says, I'm increasing the capacity of your well, for out of you are going to come rivers of living water, rivers of living water. And here you are, you've been sitting by the pool waiting for your healing, and the Lord says, ah, shift, change. Now you're going to become a river. Now you're going to become a pool. Now you're going to become a gushing forth well for the nation, says the Lord. Change, season change, season change, season change, season change in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even right now, shift in the name of Jesus. Those who've been waiting, those who've been sitting, those who've been hoping and just sitting there hoping that something's gonna change, the Lord says, no, you're not just gonna be healed, but you're gonna become the fountain. You're gonna become the healing. You're going to become my conduit of my glory. for exploits and power and demonstration. Put your hands up right now. I feel like the Lord wants to mantle you and anoint you for power and demonstration and exploits right now. Put your hand up. Lord, this is what you did through Jesus. Lord, nothing less Nothing less than what you paid on the cross, Jesus. Nothing less, nothing less, nothing less. Put your hands up right now. God, I just commission these people with manifestations of glory, with signs and wonders and power demonstration in the earth, God. They won't just be speakers and utterers. Look, God, they will not just be mouthpieces and voices, God, what your, what your heart is speaking, God, but they would release from heaven the miracles, the solutions, the strategies, the healing signs and wonders the earth is crying out for in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire, 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 in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Many of you are going to burn for days after this. You're going to feel a fire in your hands, in your face, your fingertips. Because God says it's a new day. It's a new day and there's a fresh mantling of my spirit for demonstration and power. Let this be the day, God, that we would see the manifestation of your sons and daughters, not just hear it, God. That we would see it, that we would see it, that we would see it, that we would see it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God. Many ministries and people that you've been watching this right now and you've just been receiving, the Lord says there's been impartation. There's something that's shifted for you because you've been living in a place that it's almost felt like you've been out of ideas. You said, God, where to from here? I know it's a new day, but I just don't know how to get from A to B. It feels like the steam of my ministries run out. I don't know how to move from here, God. Or it feels like you're stale. You're doing the same old things. You're trying to get the same results. The Lord said, this is the shift. This is the shift. This is the shift. You are stepping into a new place of His fire, a new place of the manifestation of glory upon your life. This is the place where the gushing forth of the rivers come out of the inside of you. It's going to cause you to do things you didn't do before. It's going to cause you to go down avenues and places that you didn't go or think of before. This is the new season, the new wine and the new outpouring of my Spirit, says the Lord. This is the days that you've been longing for. The frustration, the disappointment, where you've not feel fulfill, felt fulfilled. The Lord says, this is the hour you're gonna feel fulfilled as my glory comes out through you into the earth. So God, I thank you. I thank you for the fresh commissioning of your fire and glory, God. In Jesus' mighty name. Well, guys, I feel a release, so I'm going to end the broadcast. But thank you for joining me. 
Who wants me to do more of these videos? I'm, I'm not that I'm really swayed by that. I'll just go by how Holy Spirit tells me to. It's something I haven't done in a very long time. And I just felt the Holy Spirit say, this is what He told me to do. So I was being obedient to that. Hopefully I will get a written version of this as well. I have a friend who's actually transcribing this today. So hopefully I can release this as well in word form. But if God did something through you today, in any way, in any, just please um, write that in the comments below. It'll encourage a lot of people. So bless you guys. Please share this to somebody who needs this. Share it around. Do what you want to do with it. Go watch it again. Sit in the, just sit in His glory and just let it speak to you.